Say one of the biggest elements is that there's an underlying overwhelming passion from everybody in the work that we do whether you're in a costume room sewing to performing on stage to um, selling your company to the ticket buyers everybody is here because they're part of the puzzle that is the arts industry kind of going back to the start I personally started working with the 2OL being a resource for um, touring companies which once we produced that um, magazine I was then able to implement into our company so we did a 2OL for performers and kind of crew and touring staff and then we did a 2OL for managers so both of those written resources um, I then brought back into our organisation I made sure everybody had a printed copy enough when it was first produced for the 2OL then every time we got a new dancer on board they also got a copy then I also did a, a bit of a session off the back of that printed um, document for the managers and provided them all a copy so um, that everybody had that resource at hand. We've also done sessions with our artistic teams where we looked going back to as a team and a core leader in the, in the company producing art what are their values as a team? How do they work together as a team? So that they can build a really cohesive environment, a supportive environment, and an environment that helps to then support all of the dancers and to lead them in a way that is unified as an identity, I guess. I think one of the main things is that you guys have just brought an awareness to the fact that this is a area in our industry that really needs looking at. And uh, not just looking at, but also um, is an area that is allowed to be talked about. And it's given people um, the courage to go, oh, you know what? Mental health is a really important part of what we do in our everyday. And if that's not right, then we're all not right together. So it's given that exposure and then given leaders the allowance to talk about it.